Good morning, everybody. It is um, Sunday, June 24th, and the girls are 11 weeks old. So today, I'm going to open the gate huh, out and see how they do, because um, I'm going to be home and outside all day. So I'm going to open their little coop door, let them fly out. And then in a little bit, I'm going to open the big gate. fly out I was hoping and of course the dog walked past and that makes them nervous and then they won't fly it startles them they're still very startleable <laughs> apparently hungry which is good so at this point when they get outside and, and walk around with the other girls picking it up now make everybody seasick um, when they are out with, there is the dog. Everybody else, they'll be out here. They'll be out here. And there's the big field, fenced off, but it's really to keep the chickens in. It does not work to keep predators out. What does work is that. <laughs> and me, and me. But uh, if I'm home all the time, I haven't had any predator deaths. So, and I haven't had any flight escapees. So this is where the big girls hang out all day. It's very hot. They need, yeah, they need a lot of shade. And um, there's a big chain link fence behind there. So what the hope is, everybody, <laughs> is that none of these, these are heavy breeds. She's gigantic. Um, probably weighs like nine, maybe 10 pounds. That's my guess. Um, anyway, they're very nice and docile, but there is a pecking order. It's a real thing. So somebody is gonna get picked on out of the children. That was my... <laughs> yeah, I left the tripod in the house, so, you know, it was clothes pins and a egg crate to prop up the phone and get the right angle. Okay, so, <clears throat> a little bit more, and then I'll be done. I won't bore you anymore. So, uh... Everybody goes on baby feed. I was probably trying to say that earlier. Layer feeds too high in calcium and it is not good for de developing juveniles. I know, so um, the chick feed won't hurt the laying girls, but layer feed isn't good for chicks. So everybody gets that for a while until they, the children start laying. So they're 11 weeks, it should be about 16 weeks. So it's time that they all get used to one another and hang out together um, and get, you know, get all that worked out. So these guys will know where the nesting boxes are and, you know, find their place on the roosting pole. So I don't have two separate things going on in the coop, which I do right now. If you haven't watched the videos before, this is a boot tray, and that is a obviously a Pyrex baking dish because it's the heaviest, untippable thing I have, and it works. So you know, young birds stand on everything, and they're just almost impossible. <laughs> so um, I learned about a year ago, chickens need a placemat because they flick. They flick feed and it goes everywhere 
and it wastes it and it draws rats and squirrels so then I have to you know clean it up every night the big girls feed goes directly into a boot tray the white stuff is <sighs> um, eggshell for their for calcium for their eggs you just put it for free feed they eat it if they need it they don't they leave it but I have one bird in particular that um, lays an unbelievable egg and she likes the extra calcium anyway this tray it was a you may recognize it hi sweet pea um a let's see i would say a rubberized liner for the back of my old car and i saved it and i knew it would come in useful for something and it came in useful for this and so no scratching it hardly it's hardly any mess they all of what you see around the boot tray would be on the ground and by the end of the day I mean, it's, you know, this is just their morning feed because that also um, cuts down on waste. Cutting back on everything, we don't have to be, you know, I don't have to be frugal, frugal, but I'm naturally that way anyway. So, wasted feed is just dumb. It's like buying food at the grocery and throwing it away. So, try not to do that. So, you've probably had enough of looking at her. <laughs> and now you know the story so we're going to see how it goes later and I will tape that okay have a good morning <laughs>